Hi, I'm Andrew, an Obsidian enthusiast. I use the program a lot for two basic reasons. First, because I'm a think tank researcher, a blogger, and a writer. And second, because I'm in the executive master's program in information and knowledge systems management at the Sorbonne in Paris. So as I use Obsidian, I reflect about personal knowledge management quite a lot. And I think Obsidian has what I call a black hole problem. It's an amazing place to stock and connect all the ideas and facts and information that I come across and that I might use someday. But it's very difficult to get that information out in the form of usable written products. And I think there's a solution to this challenge. I call it the Smart Outline Plugin. It would be a visual, intuitive outline assistant tool in Obsidian that would simplify some of Obsidian's native features, bring together some features from other pl plugins or programs, and then add a few more all in one easy to use tool. But I didn't build it, I'm not a coder. So this is just a concept sort of prototype walkthrough of how I think it would look, where I'll show you six core features in hopes that you'll share some feedback with me that can help me hone the idea before I figure out how to go and build it. So let's take a look. We begin with the interface, starting with the standard Obsidian interface, files listed on the left, graph view, linked mentions on the right, empty workspace in the middle, and we'll go ahead and click on the smart outline icon to open up our standard vertically split workspace with the source pinned in this pane on the left and the destination pinned in this pane on the right. We'll go ahead and select a source file. Pretend I've just used a file selector to open up these literature notes. And we'll go ahead and create a new outline file here on the destination side, which opens up this standard template. I'm going to go ahead and rename it. And then you can see here that in this grid below, there are six little squares here in each row corresponding to the six levels of Obsidian's outline structure, which we'll begin to fill out now. First things first, the plugin allows us to type into any cell in the outline file. Pretend I've just typed that in there. And as you can see, the plugin automatically inputs the correct hash marks to define the outline levels, as well as the corresponding colors and numbering to keep me organized. I can continue like that, also input some basic text, and start to manually fill in a little bit of structure before we begin dragging in content from our source file. Now we get into the real visual outlining function of the plugin. Let's start by highlighting some text in our source document and dragging it up into our outline which as you can see, dynamically expands to hold it. And behind the scenes is creating a linked block so that any changes taking place in the source document will be reflected in the outline. And it's also inserting this citation, which can be uh, redefined in the plugin settings uh, in terms of the citation style. But it's a standard Obsidian Markdown Wiki link that keeps these two documents linked and allows us to make sure we don't lose track of where this information came from, even if we convert this outline document to a standard markdown document. Let's build out our outline a little bit more with some more text, to pretend I'm typing this in, and then go get another source document here. Uh, the plugin can read from PDFs, Ideally, you might also be able to read from images and, and other formats with optical character recognition. Um, let's go ahead and get another section of text and drag that in. As you can see, the plugin has added quotations and the citation dynamically. Now let's look at how we might restructure our outline. Here I've got a new source up and it's talking about Bush's Memex idea, which I had included earlier. It's coming 50 years later, though, so it makes me realize, hmm, if I want those two things in the same section, organizing this document chronologically probably doesn't make sense. So I need to restructure the outline for this article. I can do that by using some familiar shortcut keys uh, that many of us already know the usual control shift uh, and then the up, down, left, right arrows that many of us know from Rome or the uh, Obsidian Outliner plugin 
will allow me to move content all around this grid in a very simple and intuitive way that uh, many of us are already familiar with. And if I can move things around within the grid easily and enter information in the grid manually and drag information from the source files, then I've got all I need to be able to build a complete outline. And here's what that looks like in the Smart Outline plugin. To review the sources that I have input into my outline, I can click once on them and the plugin will highlight other fragments in the outline that are coming from that same source. So I can see if I've quoted a certain author too much or too little, and it's also going to highlight it over here in my file list so that I can go find it if I want to. But an easier way to do that is to actually double click on any of the fragments to open the document dynamically in the source pane and have my fragment highlighted there so that I can see it in context. Once I'm satisfied with my outline, I can go ahead and close the source files up and then convert this outline that I've built into a standard markdown file. I can do that using this icon right up here that's part of the plugin and that follows a couple settings I will have put into the plugin settings menu. And as you can see, it's converted to a standard markdown file complete with those headings as I had input them at the correct levels, the text that I input, and the various quotes that I pulled from source documents with their backlinks so that I can keep those connections as I write. And of course, the outline itself is still there if I want to go make some changes and convert it again. But basically, I've created a simple outline using a nice visual process, just what I needed to get started on my article. Now I can use this to go right. So what do you think? Do you want to help me build Smart Outline? Or do you know someone who does? But before we even get to those questions, what do you think of the concept? Does this solve a problem that you have in Obsidian? Do you think it could boost your productivity and output? What would you suggest to improve it? I really want to hear your answers to those questions. And not just because this is some school project, but because Smart Outline is something that I really want to see built and that I really want to use. So your feedback is welcome. Anything you share will help me to hone this concept before investing the time it'll take to develop it. Thank you so much.